Hey YouTube, Gordon Miller here. Okay, so case study number two on my mentorship program. Uh, the um, the next person that I met with uh, this week, uh, earlier part of this week, Monday I believe, um, was um, had a great idea, and it actually is a great idea. And he um, was looking for somebody to develop the solution for him, and he went to some of his friends. And he uh, got them to kick in some money. Somebody sold some land. Somebody sold some investments. Somebody had some money. Um, anyway, they managed between the three partners come up with a hundred thousand dollars worth of money to spend on something. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they began interviewing people, and they found somebody uh, who was overseas. Now they're in the U.S. and um, the person that they had engaged was in Canada. Chances are uh, that individual is actually in Ukraine or in India or other places. So, um, or at least the people who are working on it. Uh, we did a forensic code review, which is pretty extensive. We went through every page, viewed source on everything. And um, despite the fact that there was, um, uh, that they had already outlaid a significant amount of money uh, in terms of what they were putting up to have this work done, it, you know, it, it was, they were paying weekly, uh, and which is always a bad idea. I mean, you should really do milestone payments with these guys. You don't want to give them weekly money because the, the money is just going to disappear. <laughs> so they had gone about two months. Uh, this individual had refused to put any code into a GitHub repository. That was like red flag number one. Uh, you know, so uh, right on the call, we, we got onto the, you know, he gave me the URL, gave me the login information, and uh, I began reviewing it myself. And I was like, God damn, man. I mean, there's not like, like maybe two, three hours worth of work here. I mean, maybe eight hours at most. I mean, and maybe at a $75 an hour level, you know, I mean, really not very... Uh, not very good. Uh, and so we're talking about maybe at best five, six hundred dollars worth of work. And they had paid thousands. And um, so um, they were due to pay them again. And they were still getting some resistance with, with the code development. And they booked a session uh, on gordonmiller.com. Uh, you know, you can go to directly to gordonmiller.com slash book dash online and they booked a one hour session uh, and <clears throat> I was able to help them through the process of doing the forensic code review, just a cursory one, not a full code review. I mean, we've done full forensic code reviews and, and those are not a lot of fun. They're pretty expensive too, uh, but I, enough to be able to point out that this was just not going their way. I would not release any more money to these people and it was pretty clear they were being taken advantage of. And uh, so it's an opportunity for <clears throat> us to intervene. So while they were about to pay, you know, a another chunk of money, it was way, way more than the $250 that it cost them to book the hour session. And uh, we were able to demonstrate in pretty clear areas so like, look here, you know, this, 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 and this are things that, you know, you really need to be aware of. Uh, I'm not saying you're getting taken, but it looks like that. If, uh, you know, if it were me, I would make sure that they did this, 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 and this, and, uh, and we'll follow up and see, you know, where that goes. So, uh, offshoring and forensic code review is a huge area. Uh, you know, I did a deal <clears throat> with another company. I won't mention them because the company, you know, I, I got my 30% of equity uh, and I came in and I reviewed the development team's work uh, that had been done in India. Uh, and um, the um, I started doing the stress test on the platform. And the platform was supposed to support 10 to 20,000 users. And um, we did the test and it didn't even support 2,000 users. In fact, it barely supported 200 users. And the only number of users they'd ever tested with was two. So... You know, you can't do that. I mean, you really have to go through regression testing. You have to do load testing. You have to make sure you're getting what you paid for. Otherwise, you know, what's the point? So this is an area that we're going to start offering uh, some help in. 
Uh, again, forensic code review, offshoring. If you're offshoring, you know, uh, hit like and subscribe. Go to gordonmiller.com and book a session and let's review what you got. I mean, let's see where you're at. I mean, uh, you know, it's an it's a minimal amount compared to what you likely have already paid to get your code done. And most of you are in a situation where, uh, you know, even like this other one that I received like 30% equity in the company for, the um, the code looked good. Uh, you know, it wasn't very efficient. It wasn't scalable. Uh, but uh, the problem was, is that the um, it wasn't an opportunity uh, that was going to be able to take us to a commercial level of functionality. Look great, functioned okay, but you get more than about 20, 30 people on there and it just was not gonna not gonna maintain. So you really didn't have a way to make any real money with it. So, uh, you know, the average platform needs to support between 2,000 and 10,000 people at a time. And uh, you can have, uh, you know, about a 10 to one ratio of subscribers to the actual load but you know the goal here is to get a hundred thousand subscribers at whatever the amount of money is, uh, and have it's a, the platform support at least ten thousand users at a time. <clears throat> and you have to do the minimum. Uh, the minimum viable uh, platform has to support at least two thousand simultaneous users. If it doesn't support at least two thousand users, it has no commercial value whatsoever. It is worth zero dollars, zero. So if you paid. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 dollars, 70,000 dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, and you support less than 2,000 concurrent simultaneous users, then you have something that's worth zero. You have paid a lot of money for nothing. And uh, so anyway, I'm happy to uh, help folks uh, with uh, with their forensic code reviews. I'm happy to take a look at what they've got UI wise. Happy to take a look at all those things. Uh, and, uh, especially if you're outsourcing, I mean, I think, uh, I have to say, I mean, I've, I've used outsourcing successfully to groups in the Ukraine. Uh, <clears throat> also I, ha I have a lot of respect for the coders that are in Israel and other places. So, uh, just the quality of the code is amazing in some places, but not everybody's the same. I mean, there's good coders and bad coders and, uh, but you're going to need to figure out whether or not you're being taken for a ride. Uh, or whether you, uh, you're getting what you paid for. So, uh, and if any of you guys are in the offshoring business and you'd like to schedule an opportunity to call, uh, I, you know, I'm happy to review some of the work that you're doing in support of the work that you're doing for your clients and endorse the quality of the work that you're doing if you deserve it. I mean, you can pay for the time. I'm, you're not paying me to say something nice about you. If I think the stuff that you're doing sucks, I'm going to tell the people that you, you know, that it sucks. So, um, but I'm happy to have you schedule the time. I'm happy to get on the call. I'm happy to do a live review and I'm happy to s tell the customer exactly what I think about what they're getting. Uh, you know, it's your, you know, it's your risk, but if you are a fantastic, um, you know, offshoring uh, platform, then why not? Let's let's make sure people know about you. Let's let's uh, you know, um, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, you know, let's uh, let's figure it out. Thanks.